Jason, how's it going so far? I think it's going pretty well. It's sounding very good back at base. Is it? Yes, everyone's got you on output. You're doing very well. Very fresh. <laughs> Well, I am back. Do you know, it's always nice to get home and have your own kettle and your own toaster, but I always prefer to be anywhere but in my own home. Strange that, isn't it? Don't know why, I think because I grew up travelling a lot, I quite like travelling. But anyway, I'm back, make the most of it. Matilda certainly is. So look, I collected her from Anna's, she leapt up on the sofa, here she is. You all right, Matilda? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? No. No. She literally walked in the door, got up on the sofa and just fell asleep, so that's good. My worst or least favourite bit of coming home is this, my bills. Just, just look at what was waiting for me. A lot of bills. So I'm going to sit down, sort those out and do my washing. God, it's grey. It is so grey. Not even the cranes look very attractive. Oh, this is so much better. What a beautiful day. It is Thursday, which means it's the barking hour, but um, I'm heading into work to collect two books that I have to read before I actually do the show, because obviously I haven't had the books with me. I then have to run into Soho to the Groucho, second time in the Groucho Club, in a month for a big surprise and it's to do with Robert Elms and it won't matter because um, by the time this goes out the surprise will have happened. I'm back. Yay! I'm back. Have you been away Joe, darling? I've been in Austria. Oh, we've not noticed. I'm back. Okay. Oh, did you notice that Joe was off? <laughs> oh, you did? TV oh. noticed you was not oh, here. Oh good, TV. <laughs> No, it wasn't the same. Going These on. are the boys in the back row. Lucky to have you. Hello. My team aren't actually here, apart from Katie. Hello, Katie. Hello. Who's new? <laughs> and um, I'm Jo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm heading off for Robert Elms' big surprise, which I think everyone knows about, don't they? I think they know now, yeah. So I'm going to go down there, but I'm just going to read these books. Well, I'm, actually, I actually haven't got one book, and the other book has been stolen. But everything will be fine. Has it been a good week without me? It's been a great week, but not no. without you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. I think Katie and I are going to get on. I'm racing to get to Groucho. You may have noticed I wear a great deal of Fiorucci. And the Fiorucci store that used to be in the King's Road is now back in Soho. Here it is. I'm going to have a quick look. I don't think they have a sale. Oh, they do. They have a sale. Oh, God, this could be lethal. nothing there that I wanted. No, I'm late. This is what happens. But truly, you probably do remember Fiorucci in the King's Road. Great brand, Italian brand, and um, my big puffer jacket is from there. Anyway, I'm gonna run because I am very, very late. So here 
here is my producer Amy. Amy, just explain what we're doing. We are celebrating 25 years of the Robert Helm show on BBC Radio London. And did he truly not know this was happening? He had no I don't know. Hang on. Jeff Buckley and everybody here wants you. 1998. Robert was playing that. Do you know, he came on and played live on the show, which didn't happen very often. And he came in now basically, he was absolutely extraordinary. I think we lost the 10. Because there were very few examples of Jeff Buckley playing live. Recording. So, the show is going out live. And I'm here at the Groucho. First time I've ever been allowed to film at the Groucho, knowingly. And, um, yeah, I'm really chuffed. I mean, oh gosh, look at this. Oh, which is a bit of fun. Cheeky, eh? Nigel Barden. Ah, hello. Now, Barden, I'm just going to come away from the light. Yeah. So, Nigel, what are you expected to do? Oh, oh I'm going to really just capture. There's Dan Dan the Hello, Vegeta. hi, sorry. Your, your glasses are here, just over there. Right. Always caring, <laughs> always caring. I'm doing a pale ale, which Robert loves. You're doing a pale yeah. ale? From Leon C. Sorry. Yeah. Ah. The I mean, oh, they're the glasses. Oh. Jason, how's it going so far? I think it's going to It's sounding very good back at base. Is it? Yes, everyone's got you on output. I'm doing very well. Very fresh. <laughs> He's on output. <laughs> so. That was that, that was fantastic. As I said, if you want to listen to Robert's surprise anniversary party, um, it was all there. Now I am running back to work so that I can do my show. And um, I have two books to read in half an hour. I spend most of my time running around London as you probably realize. I haven't been on air for a week, so quite exciting to be back. At least I made it back in time. Why does she make that noise? And don't forget that she, she can't hear. She has to sort of. It's your. It's your fault because you keep feeding her. No, you I keep don't. feeding her. That's I, the trouble. I certainly never feed her berries and things like that. But Matilda's making this noise, and I'm now stuck with. Um, this is going to be a very short video because somehow I deleted the stuff that I shot in the studio. So I'm very sorry. It's very bitty this week. I'm down at my mum's actually. The garden's looking lovely. But why, Mutti? Why is she making this noise? Oh, it's ridiculous. No, it's your fault because you just keep <laughs> feeding her. That's the trouble. You keep. Where are you, Matilda? She's under there. <laughs> That's the trouble. Anyway, um, the peonies are looking good, aren't they? I mean, it's shown on the television tonight. They've been teaching some. Not dolphin, the other thing. What's the other things that look a bit like dolphins? Sharks? No. Something uh, what porpoise? What looks like a dolphin? Anyway, what's that got to do with the peonies? Well, they they were teaching it to sing or something. It said so, so. I thought Matilda's noise was better than that. Anyway. <laughs> yellow shrubs out look oh yeah the yellow shrub okay i'm going to go and have a look at why am i in shorts and you're in some kind of winter gear i'm in my shorts well i know you're this is this is my <laughs> i don't look ridiculous it's summer in my life this is my i don't think you can see them actually these are my i don't put you there these are my what do you think of these shorts well, they're all right when it's hot, but it looks silly on a day like today, I think. Well, anyway, that's it. Um, thank you very much. Hopefully you'll subscribe, and um, I'll see you next Sunday at 11 o'clock. Bye! I'm walking, hear the knee.